Today, I will show you how to build a simple and clean Notion dashboard to track your daily habits. You will learn how to set up a habit tracker database, add a calendar view with checkboxes, customize the progress bar design, and add a daily report section for today's habits. Let's get started. In your Notion workspace, add a new page. Give the page title a name like Habit Tracker. Make sure to set the page setting to full width to have more space to work with. Add the three column elements to carve out the dashboard layout. Feel free to adjust the column width to your preference. We will set up a database in the middle column to store all your habit entries. First, add a call out block and give this section a name. Type slash on a keyword and select inline database to insert a database on your page. Rename the table to habit entries so it's easy to recognize. Click on the plus icon. Start with the date property. Add a checkbox column next to it and name it after the habits you want to track. You can personalize each habit column by adding an icon or add an emoji in front of the habit name. Keep adding more checkbox columns for each habit you want to track. I'm going to add a sample entry to show how the checkbox works. Now add a formula property. This will calculate the total number of habit items you have checked off for the day. Since I have 5 habits here, I'm going to calculate the total by adding habit 1 through habit 5. Add another column, also a formula property. This one will calculate the percentage of the habits you have completed for the day. You can do this by dividing the number of completed habits by the total number of habits you are tracking. This will give you a decimal number. To convert it into a percentage bar, change the number format to percent, then turn on the progress bar and customize the color if you like. Then click on the table title, duplicate the view, and change the layout from table to calendar. Now you have a separate calendar view that shares the same data as your table. Go to Properties. Turn on the display for all your habits and the progress bar directly on the calendar. Now you can easily check off all your habits right from the calendar. The progress bar percentage will also update automatically as you complete your habits. Go to your table view, add another formula property and name it as custom progress. Replace the formula with your own custom Notion formula to create personalized progress bar. You can use a free tool from our website to generate this Notion formula. Enter the name of the column where your completed habit is located. If you track 5 habits in total, you can enter this number to represent 5 total habits. Choose a symbol for the completed portion of the progress bar, and another symbol for the empty progress. Enter a color to customize it. Click Generate Formula. Copy the formula. Now go back to the Habit Entry Database and paste it into your Custom Formula field. Now you can switch back to your Calendar view. Turn on the display for your new progress bar column. And here you go. You have a custom progress bar directly in the calendar. Duplicate your existing table view. Make sure the layout is set to table. Now let's group your data by week. Under day, select week. Sort the groups by orders first. This will create a toggle for each week. Click on a setting for the progress bar column to show aggregation. Select more options and then average. 
Now Notion will automatically calculate and display the average progress percentage for each week. Now let's create a shortcut button on the left side of the dashboard. Add a call up block and give it a name for this section. Add a button element. Name the button something like add a record. Choose add page as the action. Select your habit entries database. Under edit property, set it so that it records the date automatically when you add a new entry. Add another action step to open that new page we have just added. Click done. Let's test it out to see if it works. In the habit entries database, click copy link to view. Paste the link into an empty space on your dashboard. Now customize the view. Click Edit View Layout and change the layout from Table to Gallery. Turn off the page cover to keep it clean. Go to Property Settings and turn on the display for your happy checkboxes and progress bar inside the gallery. To make sure you only see today's habits, go to the Filter Settings. Set it to show entries where the date is today. Now you will have a clean daily summary where you can easily check off your habits for today.